I built this company, been in first, first one in, last one out. A great captain always goes down with his ship. And that's the deal here. That's, uh, for all I know, I got the big C right now. I'm tired, but I don't think it affects the people in this office. Right now, the DMP 500 plans on being open every day that the stock market is open. I can't withstand too many more days like today. Uh, it's early. Gambling's obviously shut down. I was very much getting ready for March Madness and excited. Um, stock market's taken an absolute beating, and I thought there was an opportunity. So I couldn't gamble on sports. I thought it was a good time to get in. I thought the timing was right. Uh, so once March Madness got shut down, I decided I'd dive into the day trading. All right, live from the DNP 500. Uh, I am a professional day trader now, blood in the streets. I capitalize. <laughs> Day two, let's go. Day trade city. At what price? Eleven dollars twenty five okay. cents. So you're picking a level. It's at twelve something right now. If it hits that, then we'll get sell okay. back at thirteen large. We'll make a bundle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and when you put in a sell stop, you'll yeah. ask me first. Yes. If for some reason. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll make a bundle. Yeah. We'll make a bundle. Yeah, we'll definitely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll make a bundle, and if you don't, then you'll lose a bundle, yeah. right? Because I'll pretend that it never happened. All right. So that's like an eight hundred thousand dollars worth yeah. of stock. Okay. Oh, yeah. So as soon as the market opened, it opened down. It opened down big. It triggered a bunch of what they call. Uh, it triggered a, a trading halt, right? Because you can't just keep stepping on the neck of the market. So as it goes down a certain percentage point, the market say, listen, we got to take a 15 minute break, get a breather, get bids in, have people kind of get a clear head. Uh, Dave has picked a spot already in one stock. So he's put in a bid. So when the market reopens, if it was to go down again, he's already kind of picking spots. So it looks like Davey Day Trader is going to be doing it from the long side today. It's going to be looking for discounts and then looking to flip it out for a couple of bucks. That's the plan. So market's going to reopen a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But that's the plan so far today. My gambling history, I would hope, would help. I, I'm maybe not panicking. I have a higher risk threshold. Uh, but it hasn't helped at all. And I didn't realize at the time that Corona it was before Corona really went fucking nuts. But I've lost a couple million just on that. Um, it seems to be very similar to my gambling. Like I'm just losing. He's, he's remaining calm. There's a flood on the third floor. We have no running water. The place is fucking falling apart. Dave is ice water, like this. I haven't seen that much reserve in a trader since 2003. And that trader was young Mike McCarthy. <laughs> well, Large is a former investment guy, take a report. He knows a lot of terms, terminology. So he, I asked him to be my advisor. He said no, but he would tell me like the rules. That's to sell out a long position so you can leave it out there. The only yeah. way we're going to get in trouble Eleven. with that yeah. is if you sell it with another order and you don't cancel that. Yeah. Then you'll be going short yep. what you don't want. So yep. when we do go to do that, the only thing that we'll practice, I would think you want to, yeah. is instead of making another order, we'll change that order. Got it. Like we'll cancel replace. Got it. All right. You think things are going to tank after this press conference? What's that? After the press conference at 10, things are going to go down super low? I, I don't, something's got to make people get a little bit more positive on it. I mean, people have been saying, when's the bottom, when's the bottom, when's the bottom? So at some point, somebody's going to say it's the bottom. I realize, like, my life literally just revolves around drinking, going out, and sports. And now all those are gone for eight weeks. I legitimately don't know like, what I'm going to do. Like, if I'm, like, am I going to, like, re read a book? Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, read, like, The Catcher in the Rye or, like, To Kill a Mockingbird. Like, so I just do a live read-along with Plenty every night now. Yes. No, of, like, do, of, like, do a Harry very Potter. serious book. No, do no, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. 
What do you mean, fuck yeah, Harry Potter? Watch Mickey or, uh, read Mickey Mantle's book. It's like the last. It's not the last Boy Scout. That's what I want. It's like the last Good Scout like, or something. I want to read like notorious Playboys autobiographies. Like I've always said, like Joe Namath is like my number one autobiography I would love to read. I would like to. A Keith Richards one sounds interesting. Or how about the Prince? Do well, Machiavelli. No, love Prince. Machiavelli. The, the, the original Playboy. What's he playing? What the hell? I don't know. He's the prince. Yeah, I don't know. It's very Machiavellian. It's actually sad. Because I legitimately don't know what I'm going to do with my life for the next day. There's just there's nothing to do. Marge has like an 80s Playboy There's literally on nothing to do. It was good yesterday. This is what you're going to do. From 1987. Take a pee at this bad boy. I haven't seen a tit yet, to be honest with you. That's right, Pompeo. Oh, okay. Uh oh. There Look at that. So Pamela Stein. Stein. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pamela She's Stein. She's hot. Miss November. She's pretty. Natural. Wouldn't booze. say no. We'll yeah. take her on a date. This is where people show their balls. So yeah. You can do one of two things. You can just get the fuck out, say, I made a huge mistake. Or you can show some resolve and stay in there. And I'm pretty sure I know what you're doing. Yeah. No. Right. This is, this is resolve. This is. This is years and years and years of training These are coming to <laughs> this the is forefront. A, this is hours of, of training. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> yeah, but a different type you're of training. You're training for your whole life with the gambling. Yeah, different, yeah. different. Still balls. At blackjack, when you're sitting there with your biggest bet you've ever made, and you're sitting there with a 16, and you see an ace with the dealer, and all the chicken shits run and surrender and give me half my money back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Either when the ace, uh, when they look, you know, they peak. Do they have blackjack? Nope, I'll fucking double down on that shit. I won't because it's not the right play, but <laughs> you don't surrender. Never. Okay. We're, so we're keeping an eye. Keep it we're eye. keeping an eye. Yeah. And I'll keep you up on whatever I see. Real-time quotes are at a fucking premium today. I just need one, one like, uptick. Just a little bump and then you sell? Yeah. Well, it's in there to sell, but it's like, you know, pen, $9.90. Whew. Insane. Let's see. Like right now, today, I'm probably down. How much money am I down? I'm down, down 55 grand today. I'm a fighter. This would be good content. It's too bad we don't have like anyone here to do like this is all on stool scenes. It's like more real time stuff. There it is. 500. Boom, boom. Boom. Where? Your order has been received. And now we'll see our order status. So now what? If you get now, you just had it set automatically. You were executed. You bought fifty thousand. You bought fifty thousand. You bought fifty shares of pen. Fifty shares of pen. Dollars and twenty-five cents. Beautiful. He's taking part in the rally, coming off the balls of its ass. Yes. What'd you do? You bought fifty shares of a stock that we both know at ten dollars and twenty-five cents. Balls, oh, bro. Was that hard? Yo, to what's open? like a good restaurant? That there's like Chick Fil A on there. Can we buy Chick Fil A? Sure. Yeah. Come on over. Yeah. Let's. I want my next three hundred. I don't. Chick -fil -A. Are they allowed to be open right now? Yeah. I think so. Let's well, Let's ta it, go, takeout's balls. open, so that actually might How about that? kind of be a genius idea. Balls. I, wear it on Chick. Wear it on get Chick. It on Chick get it on Chick fil A. Yeah. Balls is right. Chick fil A. People need to get takeout. They're going to eat. <laughs> the Chick fil A stock is about to skyrocket, I'm telling you. People, all right, now you know, honestly, all the people in the city doing takeout. What's Chick fil A? What's his symbol? If you, if you live in the city, why would you not get takeout from Chick-fil-A? Yeah, but Pauls, I'm saying, can you buy Chick-fil-A stock? It's fucking Chick-fil-A. It's the best food they have in the city. Great point. <laughs> What's his symbol, Pauls? Uh, uh, I don't know how to find a symbol. I don't think they're a publicly traded they're company, They're a publicly traded company? You're sparking a pen rally. It's up to 1039. Was that like five cents? What'd you buy that? I don't know. Yeah, I think. 1025. Yeah, you're up, Pauls. <laughs> Dude, we're so bad. 1041 we're last, Pauls. So Fuck the coronavirus, who cares? We just gotta find a good publicly traded restaurant. Chick-fil-A. I don't know if it's publicly it's traded. Not. They're saying it's not it's publicly traded. Trade publicly you can go to Chipotle though. Chipotle, no, no one's gonna go to Chipotle. Right. You had me so fired up on Chick-fil-A balls. No, I didn't know Chick-fil-A was a, was a trade, publicly traded company. We're just sitting here. Balls, you know what you're gonna do? At this rate, you're gonna ring the closing bell today for me. <laughs> Pen is so back. Pen is so back. Balls. <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's an honor, boss. To ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah, I know when you did it, it was a big deal. We have to, by the way, get a way to hang it up officially. Oh, pen went way down. Hey, pen, the, the, the pen rally is over.
I need pen to get to 11 and went back down under 10 bucks. We're in the red now. Where do I get the updates? It was so close, ball. Where do I get the updates? You, you got, you can just like, like on your app. right on your phone? Like right there. 989, it was all the way. You you rallied it to like 10, 10, 10, yeah. And these are the live updates on this. The live updates. Damn it, balls. We're gonna, we're gonna get back, we're gonna get back there. What are we down, like 40% there? We're gonna get back up. Damn it, balls. Positive vibes don't. I just bought 10 shares of Shake Shack. At what price? Uh, it costs $334. That's 10 shares, right? 10 shares of Shake Shack. It's trading at like 33 You know, I had I had $338 left in my account. Shake Shack, 334 bucks. Got right under there. We're in on Shake Shack. Did you see, bro, JetBlue's at 10 bucks? JetBlue. Jet, listen, Spider, let me tell you this. Shake Shack, no one in NYC, we can't go out. We can only listen. deliver your takeout. Shake Shack's about to dominate yeah, delivery yeah, yeah, tech. Yeah. It's going to be a monopoly. Glenn, are you getting in on the shack? No, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I'm not getting in on the shack. I went there yesterday, and I ordered online, and it took me 14 minutes. We don't need this bad press for our stock right now. Yeah, all right, we'll cut this part. But it actually took me 14 minutes after the time hey, it said go I, I to the got window. A I got a question. That's I got a question about this. Now that I'm an owner of Shake Shack, if I go get a burger at Shake Shack, is that like buying a Packers ticket when you're a Packer owner? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Unbelievable. I think tonight, once dinner rolls around, a lot of people hungry. are going to get hungry and they're going to want like Shake Shack. Yeah, Shake like Shack's that. a big delivery thing. A lot of people get Shake Shack delivered here. I like that. Right now it's breakfast time. It's only 11 a.m. You just wait for the lunch orders to roll around, the dinner orders? I'm stuck because all my money's gone and there's blood in the streets. I'm probably down six figures today. We gotta come back, balls. I'm probably down like this is bucks. this is trading. This, this is, is you know, like you want to get an inside look at Merrill Lynch, J.P. Morgan, all the big houses. This is this you is how it, in the mind, so this you, is how it goes down. People, I mean, people are gonna want to eat Shake Shack. Order Shake Shack tonight. Not yet. It's only eleven. The orders start rolling. Even lunch, I would think, would be better. no. I think like one o'clock. Well, we should check back at like one. One by one to one. two. One to two. Okay. Look at this. Fantastic. Dojo. Is the what is honestly my first question I'm not gonna ask now. Save us for Stock Central. What's the dough? Don't know what it is. <laughs> Don't yeah, the dough. That's no. not real. It's the dough. Oh well no. Cause cow D dough. No. Dow. Yeah. Smartest minds in the financial community right here. You might DMP, be the D M P five hundred. But we're gonna talk away. This is this is the DMP 500. You guys you guys stick with it. You can listen to all your advisors and see how things shake out. He knew that the uh, what do you call it the uh, dough. He knew that burgers are gonna be in demand because delivery. That's why you talk to your people. That's why you talk to your people. Yeah. Okay. Glennie's gonna ring the four o'clock bell today. I bought it at 10 shares, so I spent $334. Right now, it's at $349. So if I wanted to, I could get out right now and get a free Shake Shack meal. Yes. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it ride. <laughs> You're more long-term. guess what? It's not even lunchtime yet. We're just getting into the lunch swing right now. And that's... Uh, fucking balls. You get a stock test from Glenny? He killed it. He killed it. It makes sense. And now I'm just watching it go, and I'm... He killed it with the Shake Shack. It's up to past 35. Look at what, look at what balls did. <laughs> and I missed it. I was, damn. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. The hundreds, thousands of dollars. It, the arrow is literally straight up. It just is rising through the roof. So sick of people tweeting me about Penn. I mean, my my new stock advisor nailed it. Balls said people were gonna be ordering burgers from Shake Shack because everything is fucking going right up, and I missed the curve. Did Shake Shack go up? Yeah. So Lars, right now I bought it for three hundred thirty-four dollars. Is he trading? Balls. <laughs> yeah, he's trading big time. <laughs> He's all in on Shake Shack. He's just buying burger stocks? <laughs> yeah. How bad has it been? It's brilliant. I mean, it's bad. It's a bloodbath. Yeah, it's bad. It's nine bucks. <laughs> Time to buy more. Oh, I did that. 
Yeah, got to. I, I at one point, day trading, in the midst of this debacle, was up 80 grand, but it went away in a second. So now I'm down. It's a roller coaster. It, we're trained for this. Like, because I'm so used to despair that I don't panic. Right. Like, I'm used to it. it gambling has trained, trained me not to panic. I should have just said, I should have frowned there. No, that's the I end. That's frowned. the end. The DMP uh, 500 closed for the day. Uh, I'm down about, I think, quarter mil. Uh, Glennie invests in Shake Shack because invest in what you know. I'm and he's down a, about 10 Bird guy, $10. Uh, it went downhill with you when you ordered Shake Shack and then you crucified them for their cheese being all over the bag. And uh, I bought a lot of pen today. And But the good thing about day trading is We'll be back tomorrow. The DMP 500 will reopen tomorrow 9 a.m. And uh, we'll turn that frown around. And we'll smash Corona and eat burgers and gamble and be jolly. Why Shake Shack? Can I say that? Is that, is that fraud? That's inside of trading, maybe? Is that? I don't know. Don't post that if it is. <laughs> no, I think you're okay. <laughs> 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 Thanks guys, this will be pretty quick, but I just figured it's easier to get everyone together and tell what's going on. Obviously, coronavirus is here. Uh, it's going to be pretty day by day at this point, uh, as far as what's happening. So we want everyone to feel safe. We want as few people to be in the office as possible. So if you're not essential and have to be here, then I would work from home. The Buccaneers will announce their deal with Tom Brady. The deal is done. And it just made it really a logical decision at this point in time for him to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, emergency press conference. So you've seen the news. Tom Brady is leaving the Patriots. Uh, I'm in quarantine. Listen, you can't go outside in Boston. You can't go outside in New York. The country, the boogeyman, boo, corona. Devastated. I wish he ended his career in New England. This guy has given me some of the best years of my life. He and I graduated as compadres from Michigan 99. Championship after championship. Defeat our enemies together. Ugh, gross. My lips, they're falling apart. Delete that from your brain. Nobody had the run we did. Nobody. Nobody. Never again. We're part of history. And we move on. Everyone shut up. I, it would, everyone, shut up. <laughs> Everybody tweet Final Merc. Everybody tweet him nonstop. Text him nonstop. Call him all day. What do you fucking want from me? I, I didn't individually reach out to you when I went to <laughs> fucking <laughs> leave me alone, my fucking. It's it's the same thing. Like like you know when someone dies, it's like, you want me to just leave? Yes, I do. I want you to just leave. Me. How are you feeling? Get the fuck out of here. Are you filming this? The guy is 42, and he's giving me some of the best memories you can have as a fan. But, I mean, Steve Chea, that dork, that loser, running around like... First of all, I don't even know it's 100% official that he's going to Tampa Bay. That seems to be where everyone thinks. Uh, you know, you're getting a 42-year-old quarterback. You're not getting a franchise quarterback for the next 10 years. So maybe he takes them to the playoffs. Like, I'd still much rather to be the Patriots with Bill Belichick than the Bucks with Steve Chea. I mean, he's just, you know what Steve Chea is? And I don't want to be mean to him, but he's an order taker. He's the guy who sits on that, you know, floor on the third floor and writes orders. That's fine. You know, he needs little little gaps to get him through the day. He studies the film, and I'm sure he's very excited. I mean, it's surreal. I, Tom Brady is the greatest football player of all time, and he's coming to my team, which is just so hard to fathom. Uh, I'm overjoyed. Uh, the, the season cannot come so I mean, obviously we have a whole <laughs> coronavirus epidemic, uh, and that's awful, and hopefully that doesn't screw up anything with the season. I hope everyone stays safe um, and, and, you know, whatever, uh, social distancing, all that stuff. But assuming the NFL season starts on time and everything happens, 
you know, this is unbelievable. Uh, Why aren't you speaking to me? Nothing to say, Maria. Nothing to say. Got nothing to say. Stop. 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 One of the things um, I was going to do in quarantine is uh, learn to play the ukulele to keep my mind right. And I guess uh, with the news today, I decided to, to do a little Tom Brady song. Fuck! This is why we're the best, because we let him walk when it seems like you can't. When everyone says, no, 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 he's meant too much for the franchise, the greatest to ever do it, you'll never let him walk. That's when Belichick lets him walk. And that's when we reload. You think we don't have a plan? People are so stupid. They're so fucking stupid. I'm the only one with the brain. Me and Belichick. Let's go. What's up, everybody? What's up, ladies and gents? This is the Fox Ryan household. Mm -hmm. we, need a, we need a better name for it. We'll think about Game it. Game of Thrones style. We got a long time. It's Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day, day two of the quarantine. We are not going to the office. We are isolating ourselves. We're trying to do the social distancing thing, do yep. the right thing. Uh, and we're here to show you our kitchen fridge quarantine setup. All right, let's do it. So I received a text from my mom, I guess, two nights ago now where she said, I feel the need to bring you food, Rob. I want to bring you food. I said, don't worry about it. Me and Trent are going to go grocery shopping. We got it covered. She texted me the next morning and said, I got food coming. She's an Italian woman who really just made sure we were stocked up for like a 4th of July barbecue. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it feels like. Look at these jugs on the ground. So, this is yeah. my favorite part. We couldn't even fit these jugs in the fridge because, as we can show you now, this is what our fridge looks like going into the quarantine. A lot of Arizona green tea. That's my favorite drink. Even behind the green tea is, if you take these away, it's just more green tea back there. The freezer is stocked up with uh, smart ones, frozen pizzas, chicken tenders. We were unboxing this yesterday, putting the groceries away. And I kept saying like, why in the fuck would she bring me so many things of dark red kidney beans and petite diced tomatoes? She even brought like a spoon, uh, and then here, we took out chili mix. And we were like, does she want us to make chili? First of all, our oven doesn't work. For whatever reason, the gas in our building doesn't work, so they shut that off. It was hers. She didn't mean to give this to us. So, <laughs> makes a lot more sense. I'm telling you, we gotta shock the world and make chili. We can't make chili. Dude, we're gonna be quarantined for three months, I think. If we can't make chili... Are we going to make a caveman fire? What, how are we going to make chili? Oh, true. We don't have gas. I'm looking in the background right now. People can see that's my room on the left. Yeah, I hang my towel on my TV. That's how I dry it. I don't know. It's crazy. I, don't I didn't know, know that. Yeah. I've been living with you for two years. I didn't know that. I have a hook for my towel. I just hang it on the TV. I feel a little bit exposed right now, if we're being honest. Yeah, yeah. Turn, the camera. Turn, turn it this way. All right, folks. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> Catch up with you soon. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe. Think about starting a new um, podcast, maybe a video series for this week. Because I'm in New York all alone. Specifically in here. It's the content floor today, uh, St. Patrick's Day. First St. Patrick's Day I've spent alone in a long time. Humble brag. It's called I Am Largened. Fucking nobody. I just get these little things from Chinatown. And they would fucking hate when I would do that. They would like freak people out. Ah. Now it doesn't matter. There's nobody here who should fucking see it. So that's uh, part two of I Am Largened. Uh, being alone in the barstool offices. Next up, uh, Large hits the bar by himself. All right, episode three of I Am Largened. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day. These things. And Frosted mug. <gasps> See what I did? A little food coloring at the bottom. Wow. I just took one of the most deadly pathogens in the world and I made a little bit of lemonade with it. Uh, that's episode three of I Am Largin. I get the feeling that episode four through 12 is going to look a lot like episode three. And then episode 13 will probably involve me throwing up in the ladies' room. So, stay tuned. I am large. Whoa. 
This is my first Periscope. And I'm not quite sure how it works because I'm old. Okay. So out there, that line right there is the train line. So that's what. So far, this is all we got. We're running train, 6.30 to 7.30. I let people on Twitter bet um, before 6.30 how many trains they thought will go by my apartment in one hour because I have the train line right here. And so I can count them because I'm four who lives next to the train. Oh, shit. Get ready, everybody. Here we go. Here's that hot train action. We are at... And it's a... It's a... It's a W. All right. That was a W. You got it right. The guy who guessed it, we are up to... What's it gonna be? What's... Oh my God, a double-double! A double-double! We'll never find out what that other train was. Oh my god, this one's a W, but it doesn't matter. It blocks the other one, so we'll never know. Two trains. I'm gonna just pretend that one was a W, but holy shit balls, you guys. I didn't see that one coming. That really blew my dick off. Okay, wow. I mean, it really doesn't get, doesn't get more electric than that. I feel like, I don't know if we'll see something like that again in our lifetime. And that's it. It's 7.30. 23 was the final number. I'm going to see if anybody on my Twitter who got the bet in before 6.30 got it right. But thank you to everybody who joined in. This could be an every night thing in some kind of way because, boy, am I fucking bored. It's day three. The noise you hear is my kid getting some pancakes out of the fridge. I'm just around kids nonstop now. I'm blogging. I'm doing video, I'll do a podcast tomorrow. Otherwise, my wife and I hate each other. Yeah, I'll get the pancakes, buddy. Just give me the pancakes. Just the pancakes. You say thank you. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Uh, welcome to my quarantine zone here in my apartment where I've been going clinically insane for the last couple days. Um, you know, it's just me in here. My roommates kind of fled to all different cities and towns. I've got really no one else here, so it's been a dark and gloomy days, uh, last three days here. Yesterday, 375 steps recorded on the phone. Not the best, some would say alarming. We gotta be better than that. We can't just be walking to the refrigerator, bringing the food back into the bed, then going to the bathroom and coming back. Gotta get out of bed. So I've been doing today when I'm not, you know, editing pizza reviews um, or recording foreplay, which we did today, a new episode out tomorrow is we play T-Toss, which is an unbelievably fun game. Um, basically the same type of thing you would see at a bar where it's a ring and a hook. You try and get the ball to sit onto the T. Uh, and also shout out Beth Page Black, hole number four, one of the best holes in all of golf. It's kind of switched around right now because I have um, the opposite way on the camera, but usually a little dog leg left, goes up to the green, two tier fairway, one of my favorite holes in all of golf. Love looking at it every day. Um, so we're gonna try and just get best out of 10 here. I would say we're gonna try and go for five out of 10, which would be shooting for the stars. Um, I think I've gotten five out of 10 once my whole entire life on this game. It's a very tough game. It may look easy, um, super difficult. You gotta have really good touch, real soft hands, which anything related to golf, I do not have. All right, so we're gonna try and just get it to sit on the left and kiss the edge and roll in. That's the ultimate shot in this game. Let's go, five out of 10, I gotta be on to start. 0 for one, horrible first toss. 0 for two, this is gonna be an embarrassment. 0 for three, called that one before it even hit. 0 for four, I can't go over. 0 for five. 0 for six. 0 for seven. 0 for eight. <laughs> Oh, you bitch. I swear I can do it. Look, I mean, I'll probably do it now that the game's over. See what I'm saying? It's all in your head. Golf's all in your head, man. See the second? It's just like when you're putting and you miss that three foot tap in. And then after everyone, as everyone's walking to the next tee, you're like, oh, let me try that again. You knock it in 10 times. It's exactly what happens in tee shot. T 
T-Toss, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I've been going insane here. I got to get outside. I don't usually make food, but given the circumstances, I'm going to try and cut back on some delivery. Uh, I made a steak. No, actually, no. I made a London broil. Let's make that very clear. I made that a London broil. People judge me. Say it looked like a milk steak. I don't even know what that means. Getting roasted all over the internet. How about your favorite food? What would that be? Oh, milk steak. Hmm. Mm. What? Milk steak. Very uncalled for. These times, we need to stick together. We're being quar No quarantine shaming, okay? No one's... Not everyone's Chef Donnie, okay? You know, we gotta relax. You know, I'm getting there. It was a London broil. It tasted very good. It was medium rare. Cooked perfectly in my air fryer. And I got ridiculed. And I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tolerate that. Very uncalled for by all the people there. So you know what? Tonight, two days later, I'm going to cook another London broil. And show you how I do that. And probably get laughed at more. But here we are, given the circumstances. And there's no baseball forever. Fuck. Here we go. It's a milk steak. It's a milk steak. It's a fucking London broil. And it's all I got. Okay. I'm just trying to survive here until I run out of money and food and then die. Okay, so we open this up and show you everything going on here. We got the steak, with some seasoning. There's the air fryer, it's very expensive. It's a very nice gift from Mama Hub. It's probably the best gift she's ever got me. This thing's just elevated, that's not great. So now we're gonna put it in, boom. And then, let's make it a little hotter. Let's go 380 time. Now we want eight minutes here. And then boom. And then we get a London broil cooking. Yeah, good London broil. I'm a little lazy again to make a side. I could make mashed potatoes, I choose not to. I did buy broccoli today. Don't think I'll ever have to have to eat that. If I do, that really means I'm gonna die. Broccoli is pretty much a telltale point that it's over because I'm not going to make broccoli. So I'm just going to eat all these. Okay, the London broil is ready to go. We got my, I cooked some gravy there. I have, it was too big for the fryer, so I don't know how this is going to look. I'll probably get left that more. This thing is enormous. I did a good job. I think I did a good job here. Let's get a cut. Let's get a cut for the people, I guess. Oh, I keep... Oh, I mean, this is... I mean, that's all you want. Hmm. <laughs> that's fantastic. Bon appetit. Fuck all the haters. No quarantine shaming today. None. Cooked one and broil. Eight minutes air fryer. Done deal. Fuck all here. What's up, everybody? Joey Molinero here, brand new to Barstool Sports. For the next pick in the 2020 draft, Barstool Sports selects Joey Molinero. Molinero. What a week to start. First day on the job, everybody's shutting things down. Monday is when I started, so yeah, I was gonna be working from Indianapolis anyways, but now everybody at the company is working from home and everybody in the country, in the world, is working from home. Let me take you around here a little bit. This is this is quarantine life here in Indy. Here's my cat, Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Look at that sass master. She, that, she just doesn't put up with any of it. She's not entertained, not pleased. Um, so and there's you. Remy. Remy. Remy boy. Hey, 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 buddy. So Ruby X Remy. Ruby X Remy on Instagram. That's their Instagram account. That's what you do when you're quarantined and you have two awesome cats. And That's what I've been doing. That's what quarantine looks like here. Glad to be here. Glad to be a part of all this. Shout out. Hey, how are you? A lot of people have um, been worried about me. Want to know where I am, what I'm doing, how I'm handling the quarantine. Um, I'm watching the sunset right now while my buddy over here fillets like a fucking 50 pound snapper that he sniped a couple hours ago. And then in 10 minutes, I'm going to go up and eat some spiny lobster rangoons that 
uh, not only did I wrap myself, I also speared the goddamn lobster out of a sunken school bus. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be worried about me. And yes, I do realize the world is going through some very rough waters right now. But we'll eventually find the safe harbor. Look outside. The world is still spinning. I got that tattooed on me for days like today. When you just gotta calm down and think about the important stuff. The world's still spinning. And if it makes you feel any better, uh, my flight out of the Bahamas is uh, currently scheduled for Saturday, unless they lock down the country. So by next week, I'll be just as miserable as everybody else in quarantine. I hope that's reassuring.